it works. Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Jackie YBT, Tech Away, Tech Everyday. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for subscribing. And today's video is one of my most requested video, which is how to sideload apps to your BlackBerry OS X devices. This method will work throughout all the uh, BlackBerry OS X devices, such as BlackBerry Q5, Q10, BlackBerry Classic, the Q20, and also the BlackBerry Passport. I only own the BlackBerry Classic, so I will demonstrate the method on this BlackBerry Classic. There's two ways to do that. One is you just uh, go search APK on your BlackBerry OS X devices, and then you install it right from your phone. It's much more easier and less cost is super slow, especially if you are downloading to your BlackBerry Classic. If you're using a BlackBerry Passport, it's way faster, the Snapdragon 801. But <laughs> BlackBerry Classic and others, they are too slow. Snapdragon S4 processor is too slow. I don't recommend you do that. Here goes to the second method that I'm going to show you in this video, which is the SD card method. You need to buy an SD card, at least 8 GB, so that you have enough space. You can just download a lot of different apps that you wanted to install on your BlackBerry devices. The price of SD card is super cheap right nowadays. Just get one and then you need a PC. And of course, your BlackBerry OS X devices. You just need these three things. First of all, if you are a tech savvy, you will know what I'm talking about. APK, silo, all these terms, all right? But if you have no idea what is these terms, what is APK? APK is a file format for Android devices, Android package. So just like Windows is EXE. So how I find all these apps, I will go for the uh, third-party app store site like APK Pure or the uh, Up to Down. So they provide tons of Android apps there. But then uh, looking for apps that works on your BlackBerry OS X device is like searching for a treasure. It's a hit or miss. Some work, some don't. The second source, I will go to this YouTube channel called the Project Berry 2.0. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So once you plug in your SD card, your Windows will recognize it. And that's the file name of my SD card. This YouTube channel, I recommend you guys to check it out, the Project Berry 2.0. Uh, this person upload a lot of different apps uh, that you might want to use it on your BlackBerry Classic. So today I'm going to use Instagram for example. I click one of his video and click the link. You just follow my footstep, like very easy. Click the link, uh, download the apps. You know, it's free thanks to this person, uh, this YouTube channel, Project Berry 2.0. You guys should check it out. You know, uh, it's not sponsored content, obviously. <laughs> just want to help you guys okay download uh, it should be very fast like the file size here is very small and after yeah done 2.1 megabytes uh, once you're done you click uh, drag the file to your SD card and then that's it and then you move on to the next step so after you downloaded the apps to your SD card take your BlackBerry Classic and use a SIM injection tool. Take it out. All right. Put your SD card back to the bracket. And then place it back here. Okay. Media card insert. So after you insert the SD card, right now uh, to access your APK file, go to the file manager and click the hamburger menu icon here, which is right here, and click the media card. That's your SD card. As you can see, the file is here, the Instagram APK file that I just uh, downloaded from my PC. So you click that to install. But before that, you have to enable one setting first. Go to the setting and then go to the app manager. 
and installing apps click that and make sure this is turned on allow apps from other sources to be installed by default this is off okay so if you didn't turn on this you cannot install apps from third party you know from other sources very important click this first before you install all right yeah so right now we're going to install the file the instagram so click this it'll bring you to this uh, installing page look at that instagram uh, you might notice that the app icon is different than the official one that's because this app is modified specifically for this blackberry classic thanks to this person project berry 2.0 you can now use instagram on your blackberry classic and other blackberry os 10 devices and just click install and accept let's wait very fast and click open to bring you to the uh, instagram so right now you have to wait uh it's gonna take some time this device is slow okay blackberry classic is very slow you have to be patient yeah just wait for it and i will cut it to the login screen okay it's finally finished loading here's the instagram login page you can create a new account if you don't have an instagram account or you can just log in if you have an existing account so i'm gonna click login pretty fast so let me key in my account information i'll be right back as you can see it works pretty well it's a bit sluggish overall i can scroll up and down uh, to look at uh, other people's content photos videos yeah it plays the videos with sound no problem you can pose yeah now let me take a photo of this bottle okay and click next yeah you can pause it yeah it's very limited like you you don't get the latest and greatest features on the uh, instagram like the usual instagram apps but the the basic stuff like pause it uh, view con other people's content text message you know uh, post story post picture everything yeah it works so yeah there you have it this is how you uh, slide loaded apps to your blackberry classic so that's about it guys thanks for watching remember to give a thumbs up subscribe and comment down in the comment section below stay tuned for more blackberry content i will see you in the next video guys goodbye